Welcome to the final video in our Gaia beginner tutorial series. In the last one we built all these uh, maps and height map and this time we will be importing them in game engines such as Unreal and again in, in a 3D software such as Blender. So let's get started. These are all the masks. We may not need all of them uh, but we uh, export, uh, we built them just in case. So moving to Unreal we have an empty level open. We'll start with creating our landscape. So we will be importing our height map which is this final terrain and we'll enable edit layer and word partition is turned on by the way so if you go to settings right here and search for word partition you can tick it from here and it will enable word partition uh, after that you'll have to open the new level once again and then word partition will be on in the level so this is the grid size for the word partition so now let's match the scale so uh, remember we imported our height map in 1009 by 1009 but uh, our uh, terrain in Gaia has the scale of 5000 by 5000 and the height is 2600 so we will have to match the terrain in our Unreal Engine to uh, this terrain that we created in Gaia so for that the scale in X and Y would be 100 uh, multiplied by 5000 divided by 1009 so this will match it to the exact uh, same scale that we had in Gaia the way it works is uh, Unreal uses 1 meter per pixel 1009 by 1009 means the all of the scale would be 1009 meter by 1009 meter that is uh, that is represented by 100 in the scale so for 5000 meter we will be multiply that uh, 100 by 5000 and divide by 1009 so that's how we get the exact scale and for z if you remember in gaia our landscape height was 2600 meter so to do this we will be multiplying this by uh, 2600 and divide by so the landscape uh, in uh, unreal uses 512 meter as its height by default so we'll be dividing it by 512 to get the scale of what we want now this is our landscape so let's push it high so that it's closer to origin this is our landscape here and we have matched it to the exact scale that we had in Gaia now if we click import this is our landscape so we have our 1009 scaled up to 5000 meter and this is the landscape that we get now if you notice that our lake around here is relatively flat and doesn't look much like a lake uh, that is because we will be using the water system in Unreal which is still experimental so we would want a flat surface so we can put the lake here and it will change our terrain accordingly and similarly uh, goes for the rivers that were around here so let's create the material for this so right around here we will make a new material let's call it m underscore debug remember we textured our landscape in Gaia so for that we will be using the same texture here texture parameter for the base color and one for normal and if we import our albedo and our normal map from right here and let's add a landscape layer coordinate right here to both of these so now let's apply our material to the landscape now as you can see that uh, the texture is uh, very small and we need to scale it so for that in the uh, landscape layer coordinate we will scale it so we will be using the mapping scale as 1009 which was our original height map dim dimensions so it will uh, apply the texture perfectly on our landscape 
so we'll put our landscape in here and this is uh, what we get our texture is uh, mapped perfectly to our landscape and then we can add our brightness contrast and all the adjustment right here so this is our texture perfectly mapped to our terrain and if you go to plugins and search for water you can enable it from here and then you can search water here and put let's say our lake and a river now if you were to go here and adjust the endpoints Now we can adjust our spline to our corners around here and similarly for the river now if we were to make this for video games we'll have to make another material i'll show you what the material would look like this is what our material would look like we'll have layers so i have named them as the base layer grass flow river snow and lake uh, this is uh, based on our landscape that we created and I have given them quick color so that we can identify uh, which layer is where we'll be using uh, this material for the landscape so if we browse to this so this material is M landscape debug A so this time we'll put it here so we'll be using the material instance uh, we have all the layers right here we take the lake mask from here and we take the snow mask from here we take the river mask we take the flow mask we didn't have any mask for the grass and for our base the texture right here now to apply this we'll need a layer info and import our landscape luckily it didn't crash and we have our landscape so let's see how it looks like so these are all the layers separately shown so this is our lake mask uh, which we are given a white color in the material and here we have our snow mask uh, the flowing river and debris and our base texture so now we can um, take a similar material and apply actual uh, textures to it and uh, We'll have to use the layer coordinates and all that uh, stuff which we are not going into this because this is only a beginner series. So this is for Unreal Engine. Now let's move to Blender. In Blender we will uh, take a mesh, a plane and then in the dimensions we will put 5000 meter. Now we will add a subdivision subsurface in a simple mode so that we get a plane rather than a circle and then we will add a displace so first let's crank it up to 10 so that we have a lot of vertices to work with and then in displace we will create a new texture uh, go to our texture and uh, open our image which is our height map this is our height map which is 1024 by 1024 and if we were to increase the strength in here and before that we'll have to increase its uh, z which is uh, how high it is going to be so let's say 800 meters if we were to focus on the plane so this is our landscape uh, in blender and now we can uh, shade it smooth so that we get uh, smoother surfaces on the outside and now similarly to create a quick material for it go in material and for our base color we'll use uh, image texture and open our albedo map here and for our normal shift D and put this in normal and open our normal map and if you go here we will have our albedo and normal map applied and this is our train in uh, blender now we can similarly use height map to our other 3D softwares and similarly make our terrain and then uh, populate it with the trees and grass and stuff. Another quick method would be to use the mesher node which we talked about earlier it will uh, output a mesh. Is a mesher we can use all of the our 
our format uh, our text and all of this stuff there are all the detail about the mesh around here how many vertices and faces it will have we have all the information about the mesh right uh, right here and we can uh, make uh, the LODs right around here and then uh, import the mesh in uh, our software or we can uh, sculpt the mesh before we import with this we'll be ending our tutorial series and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around in the next videos